I'm your host, Charles Davis. And today, we'll be introducing you to some talented young athletes who could one day be household names. My good friend and colleague, Joe McCann, is in Missouri for this week's five-star feature. Located in the southwest part of the state, Branson, Missouri has long been known as a family vacation destination. But Link Academy wants it to be known for something else, high-level prep basketball. It's a tourist town, no doubt about it, but it's also a great vacationing spot, you know, for golf, fishing, shows, and things like that. So we just wanted to actually, you know, be one of the shows that people can come and watch in Branson. Our vision, as everyone on our campus say, we would like to kind of be kind of in a, in a way because the campus that we're building, and IMG has a great campus and everything, so IMG of the Midwest kind of thing. But along the same lines of being a competitive national type of team like Mount Bird, you know, the Sunrises and Oak Hills and things like that. Link has had a post-grad team for a few years, but it debuted a high school team this season. And what a squad it has. The Lions drew in several Division I prospects from throughout the South and Midwest, including many high major recruits. It includes Julian Phillips from South Carolina. The six foot eight inch forward is a McDonald's All-American and an LSU commit. Well, I'm a versatile player. Um, you know, what I try to bring to this team is just being versatile, knocking down shots, you know, being able to play defense, bring energy. Julian is a special kid. 6'8", can shoot the ball, handle the ball, uh, defend, uh, has great athleticism, length, you know, too. And so he, he's an everyday guy is what we call because he brings it every single day. You know what you're going to get out of him every single day, every single game, and he's Mr. Consistent for us. Six foot seven inch Jordan Walsh is also a McDonald's All-American. The Dallas native is an Arkansas commit and is known for stuffing the stat sheet. I'm a real transition player. I, I dominate transition. In the half court, I also, obviously I can make plays. I feel like my passing ability is very underrated. Um, I feel like I'm a, a solid leader. I'm working on it, trying to just talk more and just like lead my guys so they'll be better. He's a big, big time competitor. Uh, when it comes time to compete, he's the first guy that wants to get out there and compete, you know, also. And then he has a, he, he has leadership qualities, too, that he's, he's building on each and every day, and that's where we're challenging him to be more of a leader on the floor, off the floor, being a verbal guy. And there's plenty of talent in the middle, with top 50 seniors Felix Akpara, an Ohio State commit, and Terrace Reed, a Michigan commit. Um, I'm more my game after um, Giannis. I'm trying to more after Giannis, you know. I try to play aggressive like how he plays and the block shots and rebound and um, dunk the ball. I'm a power forward center that uh, loves the low post, mid post, uh, versatile, and have the ability to step out and knock down shots. The list of prospects goes on and on, but the highest rated recruit on the entire team is a junior. Six foot eight inch Omaha Bilyeu ranks sixth overall in the 2023 class in the 24 seven sports composite. I gotta bring high energy, communication, and uh, versatility. I mean, I gotta do my job, uh, crash the boards, just every little thing to make my team win. Just being everything, point guard to, to center. What makes Omaha special is the fact of his motive. Uh, he's, he's, he's never stops, he's constantly going. But I would even say the most important thing about him that really, really makes him special is, you know, he's a servant. He cares more about his teammates than he cares about himself. He's the most humble young man that you ever meet, you know, and he's always willing to do whatever it takes for anybody else and doesn't even care about himself more so than everyone else and all his teammates love him. With all of this talent coming together for this season, it begs the question, can they be a team? They seem to have answered that with an emphatic yes. Entering this weekend, the Lions' only loss on the season was to national number one Sunrise Christian. The players say that their chemistry came together quickly. We actually come real good. Our chemistry together, I mean, we're like brothers already. I mean, the first time we talked, the first day we were with each other, we were brothers. It's definitely, it's interesting because, you know, everybody was, you know, coming from 20, 30 points at their old school, being the man. Uh, so now coming together, uh, it's been like a project for us, but I think we're doing real well with it. You know, everybody has accepted, you know, what their role is on the team. And coach keeps everybody aligned on, you know, what everybody needs to bring to the game in order for us to win. So uh, I feel like everybody's doing a really good job with it. Yeah, we have great chemistry. Guys really, really like each other. And I actually, the more that they play together, they're figuring out, hey, I can still be the guy, but being able to do it in different ways on different nights, you know, too. And uh, actually understanding that when you're playing with other really good players, it takes some of the pressure off of me to actually be the guy each and every night. Now I can just go out there and do what I do, and he can go out there and do what he does, you know, too. And now we can both shine on the same team. 
<laughs> we, we joke all the time about, you know, our practice is going to be more, and they are more competitive than probably about half our games that we're actually going to play, you know, this year. Because the guys get after it and they really push each other to be the best player they can be, you know, every single day. And that's just going to help us when we get to playing games. It takes more than just one season to become a nationally recognized brand, but Link Academy is certainly off to a great start. And the Lions should have a shot to make one more statement at the Geico National Championship Tournament in about a month. In Branson, Missouri, I'm Joe McCann. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.